An antics set itself has a number of properties which can be used to affect the overall environment and produce special effects such as fog. To begin with, if it's not already open, select the View menu and choose Set List. I can dock this to the set by right clicking in the title bar and checking it as dockable if it's not already, and I'll position it here. Now right click on the set folder. From the sub menu, choose Properties. To change the colour of the background, use the colour drop down menu. Here you can select a preset or choose more colours and add your own. In this instance, I'll use a tan hue. Then click Apply to make the change take effect. At the moment, the style of the background is set to plain, but you can also use an image as the background. Clicking the radio button allows you to browse the project's texture folder for suitable images for the background, for example, a sky digital photograph. If you're going to use a realistic sky, it's probably more appropriate to use a sky dome, which will map the image onto a virtual hemisphere surrounding the set. With sky dome enabled, you can use the drop down menu to access the textures available within the project, and here I'll select a sunset. Again, click apply, otherwise no change will occur. Ambient light refers to the presence of environmental light providing uniform illumination of the set as opposed to directional lighting created by the addition of light objects in discrete areas of the set. You can change the colour of this in the same way as the background colour. Use the drop down menu to select a preset or create your own by clicking more colours. Once more I'll select the tan hue to create a more exaggerated golden hour lighting effect. Finally Antics allows you to add fog to the set. Enable the show fog checkbox and then set the desired density. Here I'll set it to 0.3 by keying in a value. Then click apply noting that the colour of the fog is defined by the setting for the background colour. Also note that the obscuring attribute of the fog increases as you dolly away from the set and decreases as you dolly back in again. 